Hey there, in this tutorial I'm going to tell you how you can create DSNs for SQL Server on Windows 8. So in case you don't know what DSNs are, here's a short introduction to it. DSN stands for Data Source Names and to, con to connect to the uh, databases, uh, specifically SQL Server here. So to connect to SQL Server database through your application, you need ODBC drivers. ODBC drivers are the drivers which connect your application to the databases and ODBC drivers use a kind of data structures which actually stores that information and DSNs are the, those data structures which are used by ODBC to connect your application to the databases. So I hope you got it and if you don't you can just uh, check out it on the web. So this I'm on my SQL Server Management Studio and uh, this is the list of databases so let's create DSN for database2 file. So I swipe left, search, control panel and in control panel I go to system and security. You need to have administrative rights to create a DSN. I go to administrative tools. I'm on 64 bit so DBC data uh, source 64 bit I go to the system DSN I need to add a DSN create a DSN so I click on add and I have this window here where I have two options uh, one is SQL server and other SQL server native client so if you are creating a DSN for uh, for database present locally on your SQL server you should go for SQL server and in my next tutorial I'll be telling you when you need to use SQL server native client basically we use SQL server native client when you are connecting to a database on cloud so I'll uh, explain that in my next tutorial so for now you we go for with sql server uh, let's name it let's name it uh, tutorial dsn and uh, server description is just optional so hp i'm on the server and uh, i uh, don't have any credentials to connect to the uh, data source it just doesn't take any credentials so un i untick it and I go next change the default database and this is where you need to select the database for which you are creating the DSN okay I need to change it I'll connect to SQL server what's wrong okay with SQL server authentication SA and here goes my password SA is the default username login ID I go to next click you will get a list of your databases here here I go so we create for data uh, we create DSN for database to file I go next just keep them as it is finish you can check your uh, data source it's trying testing test completed successfully so here we are we have complete, uh, created our DSN and we can use it I uh, don't forget to click on ok rather than cancel you need to click here ok as well and now if you will check you will find the database we just created what was the name tutorial DSN so here we are so using this DSN you can connect your application to the database on SQL Server Management Studio present locally I, I hope you liked the tutorial and it helped and if you it did don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you bye bye